So the way that we're going through this conversion process is we're doing a lot of cutting and pasting and live editing. But if you're just kind of jumping into this series from right here, you can actually get the state of this file by going to the resource pack. And this is going to be step 29 after converting code to D8. So you can just copy this and paste it into your trails subscriber.php file. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back to our editor. I'm gonna clear out this breakpoint. So now that we're storing the data, the next logical step would be to figure out how we're going to display it. So that's going to happen in our block class. So again, we have our build here, which is where we return the content. So let's go to our trails module and we'll scroll down to our trails block view function. Now this is the part in Drupal 7 that deals with building the output that gets returned for a block. And we don't need to do any of this switching anymore, so we're just gonna copy the code in this case, minus the break here at the end. So let's just copy this whole thing and jump back over to our block plugin class. And for this build, let's paste it in. And there's a couple things here that are clearly gonna be off. One, we have this block content equals output. This output actually needs to be returned as part of our markup. So I'm gonna replace this markup here with output. And then we have some variable gets here. And we know that we want to replace that. We can go to trailsubscriber.php and copy this here. So this is where we're using the Drupal state to get the trails history, but we're also setting it by default to an empty array if needed. Let's go back to our block code and I'm gonna paste this in. It looks like trail is the variable being used here. And then num items here gets a variable that we haven't set yet. So this is what we're going to get from the configuration form for our block when we add the block using the block layouts page but we haven't set that up yet, so we're just gonna use a default there, and we definitely can't use variable get. So I'm gonna paste in this same line right here, and I'm gonna comment out this num lines equals. We'll copy num lines and paste it where this trail is to make sure that we have the right variable name. And then for Drupal state get, let's call this trails.num underscore items. We can replace that later if it doesn't make sense. And then for the default, we're gonna set that to five. Okay, and as we look at this code, everything looks good here. Now here, we're seeing this cross out of format interval indicating that it's been deprecated. And it could be that by the time you use Drupal 8, that this is no longer available at all. So what we're gonna do is search the change records for this just to see if there's an entry. I'm gonna go back to the browser. We'll go to the change records. I'm gonna go back to the listing here and inside of the keywords. Input, I'm gonna put format interval. Okay, so it says here format plural has moved to translation service as format plural, and format interval has moved to date service as format interval. Let's check that one out, I'm gonna click on that. Okay, let's scroll down and see if we can find an example. So this is for format plural, that's not what we need. And then here we go, format interval. So this is the way that we would do it in Drupal 7, and it looks like this is the way that we're going to do it in Drupal 8. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna jump back to our editor and I'm gonna replace format interval with that code. So Drupal service date, so we're grabbing date from the dependency injection container and we're using the method format interval that gets applied there. So if we have output, we're adding some stuff around it. Looks like the spacing is a little off here. I'm just gonna do some indentation to make it look a little nicer. And then we have our block subject and content, and I don't think we need that anymore. So we're going to remove that, as well as the comment that describes what it's doing. All right, I'm gonna save this, cross my fingers, jump to the browser, and take a look. Okay, let's go back to the main page, the home page. Hey, check it out. So we have structure, structure, and then nothing because our home page doesn't have a title yet. I'm gonna click on extend, and then I'm gonna go back to the home page just to see this happen. All right, extend and then nothing. 